Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Stainville, and this is my first time doing iGame. Um, thank you for play for the opportunity, and uh, I pretty much love doing things like this. So, jumping right in, we're scrimming um, Quantic Next Threat on Summit CTF. Um, kind of confused at their tactic right now. Um, they didn't push anyone top glass. I always expect someone to be coming top glass, you know, in my opinion, it's probably the most important part of the map, um, just for map control purposes. I have Marathon on, I used it to kind of push up and get, you know, get advantage top glass and get prepared for a gunfight, but the fact that they didn't have anyone there, I'm kind of in a disadvantage. So I'm creeping around, hopefully no one can catch me, um, you know, without being prepared. Alright, so two guys go down right away. I noticed um, the flat carrier and one other guy is by himself, and my teammates were able to kill him, get that return. And with Marathon, I guess that gave me one advantage. Um, I was able to run to the base, you know, without worrying about getting shot in the back. But I'm not just going to run right in. Um, we're not sure if the base is clear. And I'm never, you know, sure the base is clear unless my teammates are absolutely sure off or dead. So, we're able to get that cap. There's a guy top glass. He threw a nade at the ledge, so I decided to drop down, not even go for the gunfight. Just, you know, kind of push up, get position. Maybe somebody come around that corner. Nope. Mutation went ahead and dropped down. I was able to pick up that kill. They have our flag. And they pulled our flag. So I still have Marathon on, which is, I mean, at this point in the game, we're almost two minutes in, and I'm still running it, which is obviously pretty bad. I'm pretty sure this guy hears me running right behind him. That, and I'm putting shots out. All right, so a guy just dropped down to some of the stairs. I expected him to go behind that barrel right there. Instead, he cut the inside of the, I guess, the pillar, the antenna, and kind of went you know, caught me off guard. I just expected him to go for that head glitch. I don't see why he wouldn't. Um, right off the break, off the spawn, I notice our right side's open. I go ahead and drop two stuns right there. Um, the reason I threw two stuns is, you know, I don't think I'm going to need those stuns too much. And I heard that guy throw a grenade. That's why I knew he was there. But I just want to make sure there's not, you know, a guy camping in the corner. Sometimes you throw a stun and you really don't get anything. And I, I just... I waste stuns a lot by throwing two just to make sure no one's there. I hate getting killed by um, throwing a stun at an area and a guy being there and not getting stunned. Just completely destroying me when I come around the corner. We have a 2-0 lead. Um, there's two minutes left at this point in time. We should uh, be slowing it down. At least that's what I tell my teammates. As, as the, the round goes on, I want to go slower and slower and kind of control the pace of the game. Um, that was unfortunate. I'm on two sensitivity, and that's one of the disadvantages, I would say, it, of it. Um, virus pushed top glass, and he started pushing forward, and he kind of just decided to turn around and just caught me off guard. I, I didn't expect him to do that, so I put myself in a bad position. And then he prenated me off spawn, and that's the worst, you know, worst thing ever. So we got the return. I'm going to go ahead and push this. I know there spawns a dom, so I don't want to push that. Instead, I'm going to push middle alley. I see my teammates pushing up green. I'm going to get the cutoff right here. And I'm going to pre-fire just in case there's another guy coming out. And typically, I, I try to run with the flat guy. I try to watch his back. Um, I'm trying to play that support role right now. And it looks like he got out pretty safe. He's going to go top glass. And I died there. Um, I kind of knew the spawn was summit. I just didn't expect him to be there that quick, I guess. And he just caught me off guard. Um, that's what I get for not coming around the corner with my gun up. Alright, so, not really sure what I'm doing here. I think my controller disconnected, but we're back on. We're down to a minute left. We have a 2-0 lead. It's, you know, we're playing a good team in that, you know, anytime you have a lead on any team, you want to take advantage. You don't want to give up your lead. So you don't want to get overly aggressive, but you don't want to give up the map at the same time. At least that's how I feel. So, catch that guy jumping out. I'm going to go ahead and push. I noticed the guy pulled our flag, so I'm going to go try to get control of their base just to make sure they for sure don't get this. Um, I know they're spawning green, and it looks like they're pulling that way as well. I get a hit marker, and I see that guy come out. I decide to not go for him for the simple fact that my teammate just died, and they have no idea I'm on their base, and I get that surprise cap, and hopefully my teammates are able to cap that. And right now, these guys are just trying to run out of their spawn and get over to our base as quick as possible to stop that cap. But looks like we were able to capture the flag, get a 3-0 lead, and that's the first side of Summit CTF. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Um, it's my first time uh, doing this for you guys, and it's my first time back on YouTube in a long time. So 
leave me many comments and love you guys and i'll talk to you later peace